down here with Mimi. And um, she wrote this fabulous book, as well as many other things. So, um, yeah. So, let's start chatting about the book and then, um, you know, tell us how you, what is your like connection with herbs and how you got started in herbs and stuff like that. Of course. So, National Geographic Herbal. And there's a hundred medicinal plants in here. Uh, they're my favorite hundred medicinal plants, but they're um, from all over the world. Uh, many of them are just right here in this area, which is Appalachia, or Western North Carolina. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, native plants. Uh, so there's a chapter in here about conservation and native plants and woodland herbalism. Nice. Uh, but for people who are learning about herbal medicine, there's a little bit for everyone. Kitchen herbalism garden herbalism, apothecary herbalism, weeds, woodlands, invasives, um, and then we also, I also intersperse that with various traditions, conversations about traditions like the wise woman tradition and Celtic herbal traditions, and one of my traditions is curanderismo, which is okay. um, Latin American folk studies, um, and we also do like a little snapshot on Gula Geechee herbalism because we are in North Carolina the Outer Banks is so rich in Gullah Geechee traditions nice. and so um, a lot of ethics in here about conservation but also um, honoring plant wisdom and honoring the variety of cultures that bring it to us and uh, fair trade and herbs and commerce and, and things of the, that nature. Sweet, awesome. What else would you like to tell people? Um, during... talk, let's talk about Rue. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So this is a uh, this is Rue. Okay. And it is a plant that's very um, uh, centered in curanderismo or Latin American folk traditions. Uh, it's not a native to Latin America. In fact, it's a Mediterranean plant. So a lot of cultures resonate with Rue or Ruda, we call it. But in Latin America, it's considered a very protective plant, and people plant it along their homestead or right outside the front door to like protect the homestead from uh, negative energy from the outside. Okay. Uh, but also people um, might carry it for, um, like I'm here at a very active event where thousands of people are walking by. So I have Rue right here in front of the table to kind of protect our energy from the thousands of people who are walking <laughs> by. But it's also a very medicinal uh, herb, um, and it's very high in something called rutin, which is a polyphenol uh, that's very antioxidant, which happens to be really good for the eyes. Mm. Um, and so people take rutin supplements for the eyes. Um, people make eye washes of Rue for, um, like eye infections okay. or red eyes or you know itchy eyes or things like that um, and so it's just um, and you can tell it's like it smells really uh, I can smell it from here yeah. not even yeah. any, <laughs> not even down. it's just a really beautiful plant very special to my family nice all right awesome so um, if someone would like to buy your book or, or like um, keep up with you when you're social media when you're not here right at your fest how would they do that? Sure. Um, I am very active on social media. I'm always posting like little videos and introducing people and plants, putting them together. Um, my Instagram is Mimi Prunella Hernandez. Um, my, you can also find me on Facebook under Mimi Prunella Herbal. And of course my website by the same name, lots of information there about myself, the book, the Ponderland Native Plant Sanctuary. Um, and for those of you looking for signed copies of the book, you can find those on my website and uh, we'll ship them straight to you. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Thank you. It's so great to meet you in person. Yeah, I know. <laughs>